Okay, so today is going to look a little bit different. GTRS, right behind me, sent me a guitar. It's a guitar with a price point around six or seven hundred dollars, so we aren't looking at a three thousand, six thousand dollar monster machine here. We're looking at something that is a bit more affordable. The thing that piqued my interest though is this guitar comes with a few extra features. Although I did get this guitar for free, I am going to give you my honest thoughts, pros, cons, with the ultimate goal of asking and answering, does this guitar have a place in your arsenal? Or for me, my arsenal. Would I ever use this thing on a day-to-day -day basis? So let's get into this video. We're gonna go through the guitar, these additional features it has to offer, and if they're actually practical and usable in your rig. The good thing about this guitar is it comes in a couple of different formats, but essentially, as you can see, I have a Strat style version behind me. Three single coils, five way selector switch, pretty typical for a Strat style guitar. You may also realize the headstock is a little bit of a thank you very much to another quite well known company. Uh, we won't dive into that too much further. That's for other people to discuss. The guitar can be used as any standard passive output guitar. You don't have to use the active built-in section on the guitar. You can plug straight into your pedals, straight into your amp, away you go. If you want to get into some of these additional features though, you can actually turn on built-in amp and cab sim and preset effects. It actually was something I was quite skeptical about at first, thinking it was a little gimmicky, if I'm gonna to be totally honest. But as I got to use it, I could see a place for this guitar in a session or touring Muso's rig when they're on the road and they just need to grab and go in their hotel room and play with something simple and straightforward. It has an app that comes along with it which comes with drums, tuner, you can manipulate the presets, I will say though very minimally, and you can actually program four presets into the guitar itself. So you can use it active with headphones plugged into the guitar, effects, amp and cab sim, tuner, all that, or you can just plug in as normal into your pedal board. The other thing I was expecting from this guitar being a six to $700 price point at the making of this recording, is that it would feel like a six to $700 guitar. I wasn't expecting much. I was pleasantly surprised that the guitar actually had a great feeling neck. Uh, it played well, sounded well, but I was pretty happy to see that you can play music on your iPhone if it's connected to the app, and you can actually play that through the headphones on the guitar itself. You're plugged into the guitar with your headphones. That song will come through into your headphones through the guitar's Bluetooth, and the app has an onboard mixer, so you can control the amount of the MP3, the amount of the guitar, the master, so on and so forth. That paired with the fact that you can also loop the guitar within the app and play over top of your own uh, guitar chord progression, whatever it might be, and add drums in on top of that. There's a couple of things in here that are actually very useful. And as I was saying before, if you're practicing on the road, you need something to grab and go, it's actually something that could potentially fill that gap for you. Lastly, there's a foot switch that comes with it, also battery powered, or you can plug in USB-C for power and it expands the foot switch control or presets available that you have at your feet. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool. There's even a fancy green light that comes on if you can see that. So this allows you to access up to 40 presets. You can do the looper, you can do a whole bunch of things, connects via Bluetooth to the guitar, gives you a bit more control. Pretty handy feature. I didn't really want to use it all of that much. Since I had my phone in front of me, I could control all the presets on my phone directly in front of me. But if you wanted to get into more ease of use while playing a little bit more seamlessly, you could add the foot switch. Now on to pros and cons, the juicy bit. Let's start with some of the pros first. We'll start positive. 
The guitar surprisingly feels really good for its price point. It sounds great, the pickups are great, and I'm actually pretty happy with it as a guitar into an amp. Love the fact that the app comes with some additional features that are usually going to require another piece of gear, such as looping the guitar, adding drums, being able to play your favorite MP3s right off of your phone and they come directly into your headphones from the guitar. Those are all surprisingly helpful and I actually really enjoyed them a lot more than I thought I would and it was a lot easier to access than I thought it would through the app, of course. The guitar has some built-in presets, so if you can find your favorites, you can easily access them very quickly. You don't need any additional gear to play guitar other than the guitar itself. It comes with amp and cab sim, comes with presets, comes with all the basic controls, especially if you have your phone connected with the app. So there are actually quite a few pros to this guitar. Again, admittedly, I got this thing for free, but I want you guys to get an honest review and my honest thoughts. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised by all of those things, and it exceeded my expectations. Who's to say where my expectations were before it arrived, but I actually really enjoyed playing the guitar as an instrument, and I think it has some great value to add. On to the cons. The tuning was the first thing that I noticed and I didn't really like uh, in terms of the guitar would go out of tune quite easily. So the first thing I would do, simple fix, bring it to a tech, let them know there's tuning issues, please fix it and they'll take care of it for you. Tuning issue solved. So that's an easy fix and it's not inherently horrible and you can get past that quite quickly. The other con to this uh, guitar was actually the presets. I was really looking forward to being able to dial in delay, maybe delay type, reverb, tremolo, all those different things individually. But in the app, you have preset one all the way up to the equivalent of preset 40. Tons of different presets, but you only get the most basic control, essentially level and that is about all you can do as far as manipulating those presets. You can move them around, so you can change what is in slot one, what is in slot two. The first four slots being the ones saved on the guitar that you can instantly access on the guitar itself. So the presets were a little bit of a disappointment in that sense. There were some that still sounded quite good, but being someone that is really into effects and pedals, I wanted to control them like I would my effects and pedals. Who's to say that doesn't come up on a software update in the future, but as of the recording of this video, that is not an option. The other cons with this, let me think. Those were the main ones, to be honest. Preset control and the tuning. Other than that, this thing was quite a good deal. For six or 700 bucks, I would say it's a great guitar. Great for someone starting out with guitar or someone that needs to have a grab and go on the road without needing to set up their entire rig. Absolutely usable, great for practice. I will be using it in future, especially if I have to play along to a song and need to do it quickly and easily. Fire up the app, turn on the guitar, press play on the song and you're playing. So that was a really pleasant surprise there as well. Overall, this guitar did a great job, happy with it, and I would recommend it to the right person. Thank you guys so much for listening and checking this out with me. Again, this was a GTRS guitar with the foot switch. You have my pros and cons list, you have my thoughts. Thank you guys for checking it out. We'll see you next week for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.